Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're going to learn six beautiful advanced bar chords. And by advanced bar chords, I don't mean the C-shaped bar. Okay? This chord might be uncomfortable at first, but it's not advanced. It's just a major chord. What I mean by advanced bar chords are bar chords that are advanced chords. Okay, advanced chord concepts. Again, we're going to talk about the chords themselves as well. Okay, beautiful chord sounds like this one. Or this one. Even this weird but beautiful sound. Okay. Advanced barred chords, right? You also have a samba sort of chord. Okay. So um, what's going on with these chords? These chords are basically extended jazz chords. That's the secret to these chord shapes. Okay, so um, say for example, you know what the ninth chord looks like. Okay, the ninth chord. Let's take E9. Okay, it's 7767 seven, seven on strings 2 to 5. 7767. Seven, seven. Okay, 7767. Seven, seven. Okay. So if we bar that sixth fret, Okay, we get a completely different chord. Okay, that E9 is still in there. Okay, but now you have an extra note. Okay, the first and sixth strings are now an extra note. Okay, they're two octaves apart, but now you get this. Okay, this diminished, augmented sort of chord. It's diminished because if 6 is now our bass note, then the next one, the next string, is the flat 5. Okay, if you have a chord, okay, then the second note is pretty much always the 5th. Okay, if you're using E and A shapes. So if you take it down one fret on the 5th string, you get a flat five, and flat five is diminished. Okay, um, I have just released a theory course, Theory Unlocked, that teaches you all this theory on the guitar, how theory works and applies to the guitar. So go to lickandriff.com slash courses. Okay, there's also a guitar giveaway going right now, a guitar giveaway um, in which one new member of my course program which is found on lickandriff.com slash courses, okay? One new member at the end of this summer is going to win a Journey Instruments Puddle Jumper Acoustic Guitar, okay? So 12 courses are already waiting for you with the new theory course, okay? And every month I'm releasing a new course. This month's course is the Theory Unlocked course. Next month, who knows, okay? But you already have... 12 courses waiting for you in my courses program. So go to lickandrefs.com slash courses and I'll see you there on the other side. There are also two live sessions with me every month, okay? And also private lesson raffles, okay? So just go there, check it out and join. And right now let's go back to this chord. So we're barring the sixth fret and we have seven on strings two, three, and five. So we start with a diminished sound with the flat five and then we have another six on the D string okay which is the seven of the chord okay it's the seven of the chord so if you just play the first four notes you get a 7 flat 5 chord. But then, if you play the high 4 notes, you get an augmented chord. 
so what you get here is okay the next note on the second string that's the flat 13. the flat 13 is also the sharp five so you have flat five and sharp five in the same chord okay so it's both diminished and augmented it's a seventh chord flat five flat 13. seven flat five flat 13. so let's take this one fret down okay so we don't have a flat at the base so we were playing it in b flat so if we take it down one fret we get a so it's a flat five okay so it's a seven flat five flat 13. And if you let go of the note on the third string, you get this, which is a minor version of the same chord. So it's A minor 7, flat 5, flat 13. Okay, now, it's this chord is actually very different than the previous one. It's actually an inversion of another chord, but just for the sake of learning, okay? This is what's going on here. But if you use the minor nine shape instead of the ninth chord shape, and you use the minor nine chord shape, okay? So you have seven, seven, five, seven on strings two to five. This is E minor nine. Okay. And you bar the fifth fret, you get a really cool chord actually. It's actually just A7 sus4, add 13. And when I say just, I mean that it is not diminished, it's not augmented. It's a very uh, diatonic chord. It's a chord that has all the notes inside the original scale. Okay, so you have A, okay, with the normal five, okay, of the chord. Then you have the seven, okay? And then you have the sus four. Okay, so if you play again, just the four notes. And you turn the 7 to 6 on the 3rd string. You can hear why it's sus. It's sus 4. Okay? And this note, okay, 7 on the 2nd string, is now the 13. So it's A7 sus 4 add 13. Beautiful chord, right? Now, another really cool chord that I like to use a lot um, is actually a theoretically a theoretically confusing chord because you can call it by many many different names depending on the sound depending on the scale that you're in, but it's the sound that matters. It's a bar, let's say again, bar on five, with a finger on six on the second string, and a finger on eight on the fourth string. Okay, so this. So technically, okay, you can say that this is D minor with a sharp five on the D string. But it doesn't sound like a sharp five. It doesn't sound like an augmented chord. It sounds like a suspended chord, actually. And I'm gonna tell you why. You can also call this B flat. Okay, B flat. Okay, you don't have 
you don't have the actual bass note here. But if you add it, you can hear it. Okay? It's B flat. Major 7. Add 9. Okay, the major 7 is on the first string, the add 9 is on the third. This is a really cool chord. Okay, just listen to it. Okay? It's beautiful. But what it actually is, what it actually is, is something a lot more um, innocent than this. It's actually F. Okay? <laughs> it's actually F, 6, with the 6 on the bass, and the sus4. So it's actually F6 sus4. Can you hear that it's F? Because it's F sus4 with 6 on the bass, with the 6th note on the bass. It took me years to understand this. Years. Because this chord is so, so um, ingenious. And you can hammer on the note on the second string. This is a beautiful, beautiful chord. One of the best chords around. One of my favorites. And then you have this samba chord. Okay? Which is really nice. It's, um, okay? it's actually, okay? it's uh, just a, an extended seventh Chord. It's a seventh chord with the nine and the, also the sixth. So you have the nine on the bass. So if you're barring five, you put your fingers on seven and eight on strings three and four. Okay, and you get. Now the right bass note actually for this would be this. It's a C chord actually. It's a C chord. So. Okay, if you listen to the C chord, okay, and you listen to this chord, you actually hear how it's just a C7 chord. Okay, but... But it's, uh, it's really interesting to play it from the, from the ninth, and that way you get... Yeah, you get the interesting sound. You don't really have to play the bass notes, the right bass note of each chord. Now, the next chord is another weird chord. This. Which is built around a minor 7 flat 5 chord. You just add the bar. So... If we're in E minor 7 flat 5, we're playing on strings 2 to 5, we're playing 8, 7, 8, 7. So if we're barring 7, we don't, we don't really have to play the 6th string. We also add a sort of augmented sound to it. So it's both minor 7 flat 5 and augmented. Okay? Even though it's not really augmented, it's an augmented sound. And this chord actually works really well with waterfall harmonics. Okay, uh, I hope the microphone could catch this. Um, now the last chord I want to teach you is actually a chord that is just a normal um, major 7 add 9 sound, okay, no augmented or diminished here. 
Um, and it's based around the G chord. Actually, I want you to see how it's built. You have a G chord. If you play D over G, okay, if you have a D chord with G on the bass, you have essentially this chord. Okay? But if you play G and you bar the second fret and you play three on strings two and six, you get the whole chord sound. Uh, sorry. Okay, this is a really cool chord. Okay, because you also add the sixth. So you have the major seven, you have the ninth, and you have the sixth. So you actually have everything. This chord works really well again with all the with all these harmonics. So um, advanced bar chords. There, there you have it. Practice them and get them under your fingers. They're um, they're uncommon. So you get that Lenny Bro sort of sound uh, when you play them. Okay, when you play them, when you apply them. They're really good to know. So check out my courses at lickandref.com slash courses. And I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.